This is On India Radio Shillong, the Northeast News Bulletin read by Sandeep and Chakravarti. The High Court of Meghalaya yesterday directed the Director Head of Cardiology Department and Amrit Pharmacy of the Northeastern Indira Gandhi Regional Institute of Health and Medical Sciences Negrims to file their affidavits into ugly episode which the Institute is witnessing in the last one week. The Cardiology Department has been also asked to file an affidavit on the cause of death of a patient. The standoff between the Cardiology Department and the administration of Negrims led to the shutting down of the services of the Cardiology Department. The court said that it will hear the matter again on the 16th of this month. Meanwhile, members of the Kasi Students' Union stormed Negrims and put office chamber of the director under lock and key. Later, a magistrate along with police broke open the lock. Mizoram Agriculture Minister C. Laoring Sangha yesterday said that a group of scientists would soon visit Mizoram for an on-the-spot study of the outbreak of the fall army worm which has left a trail of destruction in maize fields across the state. Laoring Sangha said that the first case was identified at Nahasi area near Lumli town on April 8th and it spread to all the eight districts in the state. He said that combating the outbreak was undertaken on a war footing by the state agriculture department. The state government has also constitute, constituted a rapid response team which made efforts to mitigate the losses of the maize cultivators. As per the latest report, 2,189 hectares of maize cultivation area came under fall army worm infestation which has affected 5,636 families engaged in maize farming. The Northeast Frontier Railway has decided to enhance operational efficiency by speeding up 25 trains reducing the running time by an average of 23 minutes. The stoppage time of 122 trains at different stations has also been reduced, a release said yesterday. Among these 33 trains are at Guwahati, 16 trains at Rangia, 71 at New Jalpaiguri and 2 trains at Katihar. Plans are afoot to reduce the running time of 10 more trains by an average of 24 minutes each in the next few months. The Northeast Frontier Railway is recruiting more train drivers to supplement these efforts. In Assam, the Hailakandi District Administration has announced the withdrawal of daytime curfew from today, while night, while night curfew will continue for 10 more days. Deputy Commissioner Keith Jali told media persons that the situation would be reviewed minutely. Internet restriction will also be withdrawn from today. Curfew was imposed in Hailakandi following clash between two groups on last Friday. The curfew was relaxed in the entire district from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. yesterday and no untoward incident was reported from anywhere. Queen's University Belfast, one of the leading universities in the UK, has signed an MOU with Tespur University in Assam to jointly supervise doctoral programs in the next five years. This will enable scholars from Tezpur University to commence PhD study at Queen's University in September this year. The collaboration will also offer opportunities for students and staff exchange for the purposes of study, research and, and teaching. The MOU was signed in Guwahati between the Vice Chancellor of Tezpur University, Vinod Kumar Jain and, and Ian Greer, the Vice Chancellor of Queen's University, Belfast. Work for augmentation of Tura water supply scheme at an estimated 35 crore rupees under the Northeast Special Infrastructure Development Scheme is going on in full swing in Meghalaya's West Garo Hills District. Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma in his tweet said that the new water supply scheme would benefit nearly 2 lakh residents of Tura town. The project is set to be completed by March 2020 and this would balance the works of augmentation of Tura Phase 1 and Phase 2 water supply scheme and initiate major work for replacement of old leakage of water. On completion of the project, 23.42 million litre per day drinking water would be available for the Tura town and would take care around 1.80 lakh population. And with that, we end the Nautilus News Bulletin from All India Radio Shalong. Have a nice day.